Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to show you a couple of the animation tools now. So you have to go to piskelapp.com, P-I-S-K-E-L-A-P-P.com. And then if you notice up here that you're not signed in, you're going to have to log this person out and sign yourself in. I'm signed in right here, so I'm going to go to my gallery. And to create a new animation practice, we're going to go to Create Sprite. Now from here, I'm going to show you a couple of the tools on the side here that we're going to be using a lot. So try and follow along with me and create exactly what I create here. So the first part of, at, of creating an animation is really to just add a new frame. That's going to be something that you're going to be doing a lot. So first, I want you to start by clicking the Add New Frame button until you have five frames. So you can see in the corner it says one, two, three, four, five. Now after you have five, let's change the background color. We're going to go to the color picker tool and go all the way to red and then unselect once you have red here. Go to the paint bucket tool, go to your first frame and drop that red color in. Now do this for every single frame. Go down and click each frame and then drop in the red into all the five frames. Now once you have all the five frames red, we're just going to make a circle look like it's jumping across your page. So go to the shape tool, we're going to go to the circle tool and change your color from red to black. Now go to your first frame, so select the first frame, and I want you to start by selecting a circle towards the bottom of your red square there. So you can kind of see it's blinking right now, that's because it's only in one frame. It's blinking and then the next frames are just red. So you'll see as we add more circles, it's gonna start jumping through the frames. Now we wanna take this exact circle and copy it. So we're going to go to the rectangular selection tool. That's this kind of dotted line rectangle and select around the circle, the whole circle. Make sure this kind of bluish box is going around the whole circle. Now on your keyboard, you're gonna cl um, click the command button and the C button at the same time and that will copy the circle. Now go to the next frame and you wanna move this box a little bit up because we want the ball to look like it's jumping up. So move that box a little bit up and then click on your keyboard command V this time. So command V is the paste button. So there I just clicked command V and it pasted this circle. So look what's happening. I pasted the circle in a different spot. Now the ball looks like it's jumping up. So let's copy this ball again. Let's go to rectangular selection tool and select the ball again and click command C again. Go to the next frame move this up a little bit more and then command V. So now the ball is jumping even higher. Now let's go to that ball again and we're going to select it again. So it's already selected from here. I'm going to click command C again, go to the next frame, move the ball a little bit down this time, command V. So now see the ball is jumping up and it's coming down because my next frame is going down and move the box down. Okay, command C again, Go to my last frame, move the box down to the ground, and click Command V. So now that's my whole animation finished. You can see the ball is going from one spot to the next, and it looks like it's jumping from left to right up here. Now, so you can slow down your animation by moving this bar, and that will make the ball look like it's jumping slower, or you can speed it up and it goes really, really fast. So that's the first thing we're going to practice. We're going to practice a couple more things as well. So add a new frame down below. We're going to practice something new. Um, we're going to practice now making a face look like it's changing, it's changing its expression. So go to the circle tool and select a big circle in the middle of your frame here. And now let's change this to a yellow color. We want this to look kind of like an emoji. And then go to the paint bucket tool and drop the yellow in. Okay, now let's give him some eyes. Just go to the black color and select the circle tool and just give him some eyes here. Any shape I will be fine. Okay, now we're going to kind of make him look like he is smiling and then frowning. So let's go to the line pen tool right here. Make sure you're on black. And then just draw a couple pixels in to make him look like he's smiling. So that's our first frame. He's smiling so far. Now we're going to copy this frame by clicking the duplicate frame button. So duplicate that frame twice. So one, two, now we have three smiley faces. He's gonna be smiling, then neutral, then frowning. So now I'm gonna take this expression here and I'm going to go back to the color I had before, which was yellow, and now color that back in yellow so he has no expression. Now I'm gonna go back to black 
and make him look like he has kind of a neutral expression. So that means he's not smiling or frowning. Okay, then the next frame, we're gonna go back to that yellow, get rid of the smile again, and then go back to black, and then we'll do an upside down smile, like he's frowning. So now it kind of looks like he's going from smile to frown. So if we slow down our animation here, we've got the ball moving and then we can see he's smiling then frowning. So you can kind of see his expression change there. Okay, one more thing. Let's try one more thing. Let's add a new frame. So click the add new frame button. So we have nine. And I want you to add nine, 10, 11, 12 and 13. So now we're going to make something look like it's going across our page. So starting with nine, let's just make the background maybe a blue color now. Drop in a blue. We're going to drop in blue for all of these frames here, nine through 13. Okay, go back to nine. We're going to make a rectangle look like it's zooming across our page. So click the rectangle tool, maybe make your rectangle red or a color that stands out against the blue. Now I want you to make your rectangle kind of going off your page a little bit like this in the center. So don't make the whole rectangle, just the side of the rectangle. Okay, now we're going to take that rectangle and we're going to copy it again. So go to the selection tool and copy that rectangle. Command C to copy, then go to frame 10 and move it over a little bit. And then command V to paste. Oops, I pasted it in the wrong one. Uh-oh. All right, I'm going to have to do that over again. I'm going to make this blue again and get rid of it and try that rectangle again. All right, I'm going to make my rectangle again. Okay, now I'm going to go to the rectangle selection tool, select my rectangle, command C to copy, and go to my next frame. That's what happened. I didn't click my next frame. Now move my rectangle over a little bit and click command V. So my rectangle looks like it's moving so far. It's going from one frame to the next. And I can kind of see in this window here, it's moving a little bit. So now I'm gonna finish the rectangle and close it. Then go back to rectangle selection, select, copy again, Command C, go to frame 11, move it over a little bit more, Command V. Okay, so I have my rectangle moving a little bit more. It's moving across my page. Okay, I'm going to copy this again right here. Command C, go to frame 12, move it over a little bit. Command V, it's moving a little bit more. Okay, go back to frame 12, Command C, then frame 13, move it over a little bit more. Command V. Okay, so if you look at your animation here, you should see that rectangle kind of zooming across your page like this. And that looks great. You finished your practice. So if you finished all three of these things, you've got the ball jumping, you've got the expression of the smiley face changing, and you've got the rectangle zooming across your page, you are done with your practice. You can use the rest of your time today to just experiment with the tools. You can add a new frame and then try some other things.